previously on In My 20s. I thought you did live in your own apartment. And I did for two weeks. So just to recap, my husband Ryan is currently traveling across the country to deliver a penny to Mr. Beast and raise money through Feeding America. So I am here living alone for the first time. And since I've been doing it now for about two weeks, I feel like I'm finally getting into a routine where I can actually start to be productive. Good morning, guys, it's Monday, that's gonna bruise because my butt is too bony, so we need to go to the gym and put some meat on it. <sighs> Living alone again. Ryan's doing his penny challenge. I'm here. Yes, we are still married. I got a few comments that were like, wait, I thought they were married though. Yes, indeed. I'm gonna make today a get my life together day because I actually have some friends visiting me by the end of the week, like Thursday, and then I'm actually going somewhere fun after that. So I need to get my life together a little bit. Like I need to get back into the workout routine. I need to actually go grocery shopping. I need to do my laundry and I wanna read a new book. So maybe we'll go to Barnes and Noble or we'll just read what we have here, of course. Yeah, okay, let's go to the gym. To trick yourself into going to the gym, just tell yourself you're gonna go for like 10 minutes to just do the easiest thing. Like, I don't know, walk on the treadmill or something. And I successfully have tricked myself every day of the week so far and it's been great. Hey guys, like, I went to the gym, 20 minute stair supper, that is all. I'm kind of dressing beachy today. I used a new shampoo and conditioner today and I really, I really splurged on it, okay? It's the Pureology Professional Color Care Hydrate Sheer Shampoo and conditioner. These are so expensive. I think this was like $70 with shipping, which is so expensive. And these are like not even that big. There was this viral hair video that got put on my TikTok for you page. I watched the whole thing. She was like debunking myths. And she was talking about how if you have oily hair, you have to shampoo twice or else you're not going to do anything. And my hair has been so oily to the point where if it's not a hair washing day, I just hate how I look basically, <laughs> which that's pretty bad like for every day to feel like that. So I was researching the best shampoo and conditioner and this one is just the most hyped up one on TikTok. So I used it for the first time, shampooed twice. So I'm going to see how I like it. And I also needed something that was color safe because ever since going blonde and then brown and then back to my natural hair color, which is like super dark brown. If it's not color safe, then it'll go back to that brown color. And I hated the brown color that my hair was. Oh my gosh. I wish I could erase that entire era, but unfortunately I did have that brown hair color for a really long time. But anyways, I actually forgot I need to finish my passport stuff today and I really really need to because if I don't I'm just never gonna get a new passport. It's time for me to choose a new book. I think I'm gonna choose Mary Jane by Jessica Anya Blau, which is one of the prettiest covers I think I've ever seen in my whole life. I didn't take you on my errands, but I did finish them. I went to the post office and I was met with an angel. I was praying that I would find someone super nice to help me out because you are supposed to make an appointment with an acceptance agent who like witnesses you sign your passport application. But every time I called, it didn't work. So I just had to show up. And then the guy was so nice. He used his off time to help me. And he helped me for like 25 minutes. And he just, he did everything for me. And I was completely clueless. And I get so anxious in those scenarios because in the past, I've just had bad experiences of like not knowing what I'm doing and then getting yelled at for not knowing what I'm doing, which makes it worse because then I'm just nervous. And he was so nice. And I was like, do you have a Venmo or a cash app? Like this man needs to get tipped for working overtime for me. So I got his cash app and he's a little angel. So shout out to that man at the post office. And then I went to FedEx and I shipped it off. So that whole passport thing is done, I think. I don't actually know how it works. Um, I think I should get a passport in the mail. I don't know. This adulting stuff is very new to me, but I think I accomplished something, I think. And then I ate Fireball Cafe and now I am exhausted. It's 1 p.m. and I just have that midday slump, I guess. So I'm going to read a new book or I'm going to read the Bible and or update my planner. We will see what happens. And I'm going on a hot girl walk later with my friend Karin. So that will be very fun. Okay, you can really tell I'm settling into living alone if you see me pull out my planners and my journals and my books. This is literally me in my prime. I'm just planning my life. I love doing it so much and it inevitably makes me more productive because first the motivation is just to make my planner cute, but then it becomes that I wanna actually make what I wrote down come to life. So I noticed my entire week was different because I was actually using a planner again and making to-do lists because that takes out the decision-making of it. I took a nap after reading two chapters of my book. Now we need to do laundry and I really want Starbucks. I got my Starbucks. It's a good one. They gave me tons of vanilla cream cold foam. And now I'm going to clean finally. I'm gonna fold my laundry, put it up, and then clean downstairs a little bit. And then it'll almost be time for my hot girl walk. And I also might film a book video. We'll see how many hours we have in the day. 
Karin is also gonna help me film a brand deal of sorts. I have an Instagram reel due tomorrow. It's gonna be so funny. Like the video is not gonna be funny, but the product that I'm promoting is so funny. It's like good, it's a good product, but I just can't believe like the concept of it. So go to my Instagram and see if that reel is out because you'll know what I'm talking about. It's a tech gadget. Okay, I know I told you to go to my Instagram, but I just have to talk about these. It's not sponsored for the video, but these are Amazon Echo Frames and they're sunglasses, but there's a speaker so you can listen to audiobooks or Spotify or what, like whatever you want or podcasts while you're just wearing them, but you're not wearing headphones. And I'm just like messing around with it, listening to stuff. And it is the coolest experience. Like I like it more than headphones. This is crazy. Like this is a game changer for hot girl walks. Are you kidding me? And I was worried they would look stupid, but they actually look good. Like I would buy a pair of sunglasses that look like this. I love these. These are actually life-changing. Also, I just had a fire quiet time. It went brazy <laughs> if I say so myself. Uber Eats, some sweet green. I wanted to grocery shop today, but the old meals that I was making that I knew were like easy to make, healthy-ish, I'm sick of them. So now I don't know what to make, which means I need to spend a bunch of time watching what I eat in a day. And then usually like half the things that I see in what I eat in a day, I don't like because I don't really eat vegetables. Like I don't eat salads, I don't eat. I know it's so bad. Me and Ryan are both like this. We literally don't eat vegetables. I like broccoli. I've discovered that I like buffalo cauliflower from Trader Joe's, but they didn't have it in stock. So yeah, pretty time consuming. So for today, we're doing this. Okay, here's my hot girl walk outfit. I was just gonna say hot girl outfit. No, hot girl walk outfit. Um, this is the set active package that I opened in my previous video and I have not worked out without wearing an extra large t-shirt. Maybe ever. So if I wasn't filming this brand deal, then I probably would wear an extra large t-shirt, but let's go hot girl walk. Here's some goofy behind the scenes clips of the hot girl walk. And that night had to rep the old penny t-shirt, Spock looking at his fodder. And me sleeping with an entire load of laundry on my bed. But morning came forth and it was time for a new to-do list. Good morning, little girly pop. I checked off yesterday's to-do list, so satisfying, and then I made today's. So many comments in the last video were asking me what planner this is. This is what a week spread looks like. This has literally been my favorite planner for so long. Yeah, I'll show you a blank month. There's so many pretty illustrations. It just looks like this. Plain, but so cute. But the illustrations in it are just super cute. It's from the website ban.do, but I have a link to it in the description if you want the specific one. It's got a different design on the front, but it's the same planner. Anyways, I kind of have a lot to do today. I'm going to do things, but it's, well, okay. I don't know why I'm putting myself down. I do have a lot of things to do today, but I get to do them. It's not like I, I don't really know what I'm saying. I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'm gonna come back and get ready. I've been trying crumble cookies on my TikTok account and it's a new week, so I need to try the new ones. I need to like go to the gym and go home, put my makeup on and film my little TikTok. And then I have a sponsored video due as an Instagram reel, so I need to make that. Those are like priority. And then after that, I just wanna finish my laundry because as you can see, I slept with it on my bed, which was actually very cozy and comforting. There are so many other things I would like to get done. Like I would love to organize all the drawers and stuff so that when Ryan gets back, he can have a nice little surprise. I can't even make a grocery shopping list because I don't know what food I want to make, so I feel like that's a more pressing issue. We're gonna address some of those things today. Guys, you might be looking at me like, Haley, what are you doing? Are you cooking? Are you in the kitchen? Yeah, I know, it's crazy. I was watching what I eat in a days while I was stair-stepping, and I was like, wow, I love watching people cook. I, well. That's actually the first time I've ever said that. This is really funny because yesterday I was like, God, please let me fall in love with cooking. Serious prayer, like completely legit praying that. And would you look at me today? I was like, I love, it's so satisfying and calming to watch these people cook. One second. Oh, freaking frack. Why is it stuck? I did oil. Oh no. One of them survived. But look at me now. I actually, I really want to fall in love with cooking. I think if I just watch enough content of it, then I can get obsessed with it. So if there's like a cooking YouTuber I should watch, let me know. I mean, imagine this. Ryan comes home and I cook three meals a day. He'd be like, what did you do while I was gone? Not too shabby, guys. Would you look at that? Is this the easiest thing you've ever seen in your entire life? Yes, but for me, this is a big sleigh. So I'm gonna congratulate myself big time on the small wins so that I wanna get to the big wins. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <clears throat> control, 
I actually just finished the sponsored thing that I had to do. And I dropped off something for Ryan because he is in town. But I only get to visit him for like an hour at a time because he is obviously on his grind. And then I decided to do some fake nails. Olive and June sends me them all the time. And then I posted a TikTok trying the crumble cookies. I really took my rage. I don't know. I'm feeling very angsty today. I really took up my rage on these cookies. So people were like, this review was a bit dramatic, don't you think? And I'm like, yeah, I know. My caption literally says, sorry for the sass. But yeah, all these cookies sucked except for this Reese's peanut butter cup one. So I'm going to eat this while I watch Ryan's new video. I'm sorry if I'm coming off sassy, okay? Some days I just wake up and I feel angsty or I need to have a dance party to like let it out a little bit. Okay, it's time for me to finally finish my pile of laundry. I'm stepping away, yeah. just like I am dreaming. Putting up laundry is becoming so frustrating because I have no room, and it's because half of my closet is taken over by winter clothes. So all of those are hoodies, and I'm gonna take that bin up there and store them away. So we're gonna do kind of like a seasonal closet thing right now. I've been needing to do this for so long. Wait, this is so sad. I just filled up the bucket and then realized it's too heavy for me to put up alone. So I was about to just go call Ryan to do it. But he's not here for me to call. Cool. Well, now it's stuck back here. That's good. Oh gosh. I used to do CrossFit. I should be able to do this. <clears throat> I did it. I got it up there, I almost died, but I did it. That was actually probably really stupid because if I would have fallen over, no one would have known. <laughs> it's actually so bad. What if I knocked myself out and fell over and no one was around and I was unconscious? I'm gonna finish rearranging and then I'll give you the tour. Okay, I'm done. My closet is just gonna look like a mess regardless, honestly, but look at all the stuff that I put up there. And then I cleared out some more space for summer clothes to happen. So like stuff can go here and there's space here and here and here and my shirts are all out and yeah, there's just some more space some places for me it makes sense but on camera it looks like a mess but all of these i had to take out because they were sitting in the bin and i actually want to use these to organize drawers downstairs so i'm just gonna put them down there and see i'm probably not gonna do it right now because i just did that i'm kind of being a productive queen right now i mean I feel so productive and accomplished after randomly decide to reorganize my closet. I put some of the drawers downstairs and like lightly organize a tiny bit. They still look messy. But I think I showed you guys that I started this book yesterday and it's so good. I already got to page 200. So I think I'm going to just try to finish it. It's really short. It's only like 300 pages, but this is the perfect summer book. I'm trying to read books outside of the romance genre because I'm kind of sick of it. And this is just a literary fiction book, which I usually never pick up. But it's set in the 70s. Yeah, 70s. And it is so good. Good. Well, I was definitely happier and more productive in this episode, and I did get to visit Ryan. Correlation? Causation, perhaps? I don't know, y'all. See you guys in the next episode.